Hi, I'm Justine from Maine Addicts, and I'm going to show you two ways to use the Way Wave Spray. The first is lived in beach waves, and the second is this half up braided hairstyle. And you can find the Way Wave Spray in June's Box of Style. So the first step to create beach waves is to use the Way Wave Spray. So the first thing I'm going to do is just spray Mel's hair liberally with the spray. Okay, so once Mel's hair is saturated with the wave spray, I'm just gonna use my hands and kind of scrunch it in to create some natural movement. So to enhance the natural wave pattern happening in her hair, I'm just gonna use a duckbill clip to clip random pieces in her hair and create a nice beachy texture. So when I'm applying these clips, I just am lifting the hair right above the clip to create a bubble, and then that creates a nice S shape when her hair dries. And this is one of my favorite tricks if you're like in a rush in the morning and you don't have time to blow dry your hair. I'll just clip my hair up and then do my makeup and get ready and take the clips out right before I leave. Okay, and now that the clips are in our hair, we can let this air dry or you can just blow dry over it to speed up the drying process. Okay, so now that her hair is dry, I'm just gonna take out the clips. I also love this technique if you wanna fake that you've been at the beach all day. And then just around her face, I'm going to just twist random pieces of hair to frame her face, and then I'll go over that with the blow dryer as well. So I'm just using a small wooden detailing brush to tame frizz and kind of piece out the texture. Um, if you can't find one of these or you don't have one of these, you can use a toothbrush, not the one that you use to brush your teeth, and it'll get the same texture. So this is Mel's natural looking beach wave. So before we begin this half up braided style, we prepped Mel's hair with the Way Wave Spray, which just creates a beachy natural texture. And then that creates the foundation for the bottom half of the hairstyle. So on the top half of her hair, I'm just gonna use the Way Texturizing Hairspray. And that just creates some more grit and memory in the hair before I begin. And then to begin, I just take a triangle shaped section at the hairline. And then I'm going to work that into an inside out French braid. And the way I do that is just creating a regular three strand braid and then looping the hair under each section instead of over. And then every time I wrap the hair under, I just add more hair to the braid. And then when I get to the ends, I'm just gonna use a comb to tease the ends so that it'll stay. And then I'm just gonna use a bobby pin and pin to the back of her head. So now I'm just gonna lift up a section of hair in the back and we're gonna pin underneath that so you don't see the bobby pin. And then on the opposite side, we're just gonna repeat what we did. So for staying power, I'm gonna use the Way Soft Hairspray and this just gives a light hold without it feeling stiff or sticky. I love using dry shampoos not only as a dry shampoo, but as a styling aid because it gives a nice matte finish to the hair. So that was two fun ways to use the Way Wave Spray. And then don't forget to subscribe to The Zoe Report and you can find more Way hair products at theway.com and at sephora.com. You can find me at mainaddicts.com and at Justine Marchand.